Hello everyone. Uh, in previous videos we saw how to start a new run in Emilyflow in, and in today's video we are going to keep working on Emilyflow runs. Um, so in this case what I want to do is to let's say click clean a little bit the code that we used before. Before we we needed to use Emilyflow.enrun to finish the, the run. But uh, we can use a with statement in Python to basically ensure that the MLflow run that I am starting in this line will be ended uh, properly. So we don't have to worry about uh, ending the, the MLflow run by ourselves. So in addition to this, I also has provided here a parameter called run name. Uh, basically, this is going to name the, the run with this string, MLflow runs, for example. So let's execute this code and see what happens. Python. Let's go to the UI. And here we can see, uh, let's go to the experiment. We can see that a new, a new run has been created and it's called MLflow runs. If, if we click on it, okay, uh, we can see the name MLflow runs and a new run ID. Um, in this case, we basically did the same uh, learning rate. We, we basically log uh, parameter called learning rate and its value is 0 0.01. So now let's say that we want uh, to have information about this run um, inside the code. So what we can do is to, to use this code as run. And basically what we are doing here is assigning the output of this method to this variable. And the output of this method is basically the active run. So let's say that I want to print the the run ID. Well, I can do print run and dot info and dot run ID. Let me just print uh, run ID. Just as a reference, uh, let's print all the info all this object run dot info so let's execute this code python 0 5 i mean flow runs 2 okay here we can see the the code now re, uh, returns the run id so let's let's look at this the end of this id 2387 if we go to the ui uh, we can see here that a new wrong has been created, right? And, you know, the, it's the same, basically, ID that we printed in the console. Uh, we are print, basically logging the, the same parameter, learning rate. Um, let me show you more information. Okay, here, this is a run info object. Um, we have, let's say, artifact you write. Uh, you know, the location in which artifacts of this log uh, are being logged in time experiment ID in this case is default um, we also have lifecycle stage uh, run ID uh, run name MLflow runs and much more information about this run so that's everything for this video in the next one we are going to um, create a new experiment and try to create runs under that experiment so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one